And for Cena Diabate, what did you know about him? Honestly, very little. Uh, I think he's been in at the football club a couple of weeks. Um, the first team players have talked about him, that he looked very sharp in training, a very tricky player. Um, so he's been mentioned and I'd heard a few whispers about him, but his performance Saturday was, was excellent. Well, let's have a little look at some of his uh, big moments from the game and what really made sure he was the name on everyone's lips uh, come the end of the game. And he just seemed to have this knowledge, being able to get into positions and not afraid with the ball, was he, to take players on? Exactly that, very confident with the ball, wants the ball, his movement's very good. Uh, like again, taking responsibility for his shots and, and running at players. Um, and he looked like he wanted to make an impression. Um, you can see there he's running with the ball, um, very similar to Riyad really, moves well, very good balance with the ball, um, so he put a very impressive performance in. He seems very comfortable with his teammates, you talked about the fact he's only been uh, with Leicester just a couple of weeks, how difficult is it to really build that uh, relationship with your teammates? Yeah, it can be difficult to start with, um, but if you're good at football, uh, you understand the game, you have good knowledge, um, and you want to express yourself like he did. Uh, you know, sometimes things can just connect. And uh, there were some good combinations between him and the front players Saturday, um, and he was a breath of fresh air. And some of the speed he showed as well. There we see um, just a really great strength and holding off to allow Christian Fuchs to deliver that on a plate for Kelechi and Acho. But it, it is that speed as well, isn't it, that is going to cause defenders a problem? Yeah, I mean, that's the most uh, dangerous thing in football. When you've got a player with speed and pace, you know, no one wants to defend against that. And he looks strong on the ball as well. Uh, his awareness as well, as you can see there when he's dribbling, he's direct, powerful, um, and he looks fit as well. So he looks like a really good addition to the squad. And in terms of getting your shots away, it's one thing to get your shots away, but hitting the target so regularly like, like he did on Saturday. Yeah, and the actually was there as well, different types of the... Uh, shots you can see probably fit. I think this is a goal where he toe pokes it which people can say was lucky but you know it's a, it's a skill uh, the second half he, he drilled a few of his laces and his second goal was an excellent finish where he placed it into the top corner where a lot of players could have thrashed at that so he looked very composed and just talking about that first goal again yes you can say it's a bit of a toe pump but the whole reason he, he, he did it in that manner was to get the shot away so early wasn't it? Exactly, yeah, you know, he took the shot really early, so it, it took the keeper by surprise and probably why he scored the goal. It looked deliberate, uh, there was no luck to it, so an excellent finish. And here is that second goal, sensed that uh, Gray was going in one direction, created the space in the other direction and the finish. You almost think the ball's gone as Gray hits this, maybe a hint of offside there, but Gray, hit, he just reacts to it. He did, and it was his run there, as you can see, which opened up the space for Gray, who had an excellent shot. Um, but a very good finish, very composed, very calm, um, and finished it into the top corner, and the keeper really didn't have a chance to save it. Because the defender was kind of flying in at him to, to block that as well, and he, he didn't panic. No, he didn't, and, and he was like that all day. He was getting himself in positions where he could drive at people, backing himself with the ball. Um, so it was a very impressive performance, and he looked like he was playing well above his years. Um, a lot of experience, so he'll be happy with his performance and the manager will be as well. And yes, it was his goals, but there we see again uh, being able to get to, to the byline, pull it back for Wilfred Ndidi to, to slam home as well. So shows he's got a bit of everything, hasn't he? He has, and he looks like he wants to get in one-on-one -on -one situations and, and take people on and commit people. And that's what gets you know the crowd up off their seats and excited. So he, uh, he looks like one for now and, and the future.